Hello, welcome back to the Devious Ten of Silvertail, where I'm once more advancing with the Engineer in Legend of Keepers. So, where I'm going into a new battle, risk and reward, of course, against veterans, in order to test out my new barrier strategy with all the machines. Yay. Here we are. Um, this is not good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is not good for getting barrier on these guys. That's unfortunate. You do not like... I see. You move my stuff around. I hate you. Uh, you do not take that much damage from traps. Um, let me see here. Now, I could get barrier on uh, Mr. Hawk by using this, which was something I was worried about. Uh, and it would also hit this guy pretty hard, maybe. Okay, let's go with that, because I can't use it anywhere else anyway. So, physical at the front, nature everywhere, ice everywhere. Well, I'm just going to put you in as a little sacrificial whatever you are. You can go at the back, like it'll protect you, which you want. And we'll see how that works. Not well, if I had to guess. Now, this is a, uh, uh, well, basically um, all the front, but then blanketing everywhere. I guess I want you at the front, kind of with the back to try and do your thing and you to try and do your thing if I'm incredibly lucky, which I'm not going to be because I can't stack the barrier on them like I need to because this is in the wrong order I guess that's part of the problem I find with the engineer the arrangement of the dungeon is so vital to whether or not your creatures work it feels that way anyway See, that was pretty good for just getting barrier on him. Oh, right, I forgot to put you guys where I, where I didn't want you. Whoops. See, I could honestly have been using Robinson's ability off of this, but I can't know where this will be. Well, that's going to barely do anything, because you have an armor of freaking 90. Jeez. I guess we'll just need to use him to keep the others alive a little longer. It's the only useful thing he can do. Off you go. Yeah. This feels like a considerable problem with the engineer. That everything needs to happen in the right order, or it just doesn't feel like things work. To me, anyway. Oh, come on. Because now you won't do enough damage. It'd be kind of nice if they lost morale as they got injured. Kind of like how they lose... Or maybe they took take more morale damage as they get injured. Because like it's... They're like, oh no, I'm dying. I'm going to die. Yeah, well, this could have gone better. Go fly, you wonderful mechanical thing. Oh, right, you give it Hans Trap to the next trap, don't you? See, you feeding into this thing, feeding into them, is a good way of getting a lot of barrier on the back team. But it just doesn't seem to want to work for me. I guess I need to try and get the, some barrier on them somehow. Wow, you take nothing. Twenty-seven? Why twenty-seven? By my math, that doesn't make sense. Now, shouldn't you have had more, because you're meant to get 50% of the total barrier points of the other monsters? Right? Isn't that how that's supposed to work? Pretty sure that's how that's supposed to work. Right, let's get you on trying to get them some barrier points. I like that they do have all these bonuses, though, because that's really, really nice. Lots of random bonuses just for being them. Ow. The only way to, like, accrue barrier on these guys is for 
is for everything to be at the front, like it was the last time I sort of tried this. It feels like it doesn't work otherwise. So this would be a great team for, like, just starting with a ton of barrier, because he, what, does more damage? Yeah. Does more damage when he has lots of barrier. He shoots more often when he's got lots of barrier. He applies effects when he's got lots of barrier. He gives more barrier. He can give a barrier building stack. If they started with enough barrier, they could potentially just do a lot of damage really quickly. So he isn't, he isn't even applying poison. Now how did you get up to 30? At the, oh, at the start of his turn! Ah, so you like just grab barrier from everyone at the start of the turn. I guess I understand now why you're a tank. So you could potentially accrue tons of barrier on yourself just by being in a team with lots of barrier. And then maybe you should be at the front to soak up the damage because you're a tank. Uh, you know. But, uh, but at the same time, you need to have that much barrier or else you just can't do anything. I guess you should probably be ahead of, say, him. Because this guy can keep applying more barrier. And this one accruing... If this one gets enough barrier on them, then they can start giving more barrier to themselves and others. Well, that's something. And down he goes. That's a shame. Still, I can keep napalming him. I don't know if this is even going to do enough. Because... It does so little damage. The damage of this one is in having enough barrier. Oh well. I suppose I could maybe... What's your... That's annoying. What's his morale like? Like, if I could get that a little lower, then maybe he could take more damage from others? Like the boss, maybe? Not enough. If I'd done that one turn sooner, then maybe... Stop breaking my things! Right. Um, might as well just try and hit this guy as hard as I can. Oh, physical damage. Jeez. Oh, easy target. Sure, except this thing's also hitting physical, but at least it's gonna damage his armor a bit. Bonk. How that guy's armor is crazy. What's his air resistance like? Non-existent. So, I can potentially do this. Look at all my sweet barrier! You can't get through my barrier, bro. Okay, that could have gone worse. Uh, oh, hello. Um, I don't really want any of these guys. I suppose I could maybe try and sell them? Like at the black market? Just to get money for things I didn't need? Okay, hold on. I'm going to bring all these guys back in, just for a moment, while I go to the trainer. Because I potentially want to train some of them. If I, I barely have any money. Okay, what is... I can't even do you? You need even more money? Okay. What about you? Your health goes up significantly. So that's interesting. Uh, your health would go up significantly. This gets upgraded. To what? Oh, you lose less, less life. Okay. I feel like if I could upgrade that team more, then I could potentially sit pretty. Well, maybe not sit pretty, but things wouldn't be quite so bad. Okay. Well, it seems like no matter what I do, I can't have a full proper team. So I guess maybe I'll just have these guys back here, and you there... So I can have at least one team of, um, full mechs? I don't know. Not liking the look of this. Yeah, I need the money. <laughs> I need the money so bad. Uh, no, I'm not recruiting a uh, demon. No thanks. Seminar or sanctuary? Hmm, make my, my monsters better or make them worse? I think Monsters Better is probably better. Hello. So, all monsters get resistance. All get armor. Ooh. I feel like most of my critters have some armor because they're mechs. And 
nature covers more things. So I'll go with magic initiation. I guess. Do I need a weaker team this time? What are the rewards? A trap? I don't need more traps. A master bonus. Tempting. A trap. Um, so that's the hardest difficulty one though, and I just don't feel confident in my abilities right now. I'm going to go for the weak ones. I don't want to just lose to a random veteran group. And that might be part of my problem. I've just been taking high-risk things no matter what. Which possibly isn't the smartest plan. But I guess, yeah... I mean, this is effectively a rogue light of a sort, isn't it? Because you have to keep redoing it and doing it and losing it and getting slightly better and then losing it again. Immune to my spells. Well, isn't that just a jerky thing to do? Can't be demoralized? Well, that's a pain in the rear. Anyway, at the front, at the back, at the front. Well, you're sacrificial then. This guy should get some shield because they're at full morale. Which will hopefully help them not die so fast. Okay, energy converter. Give them their energy conversion. I put you in the middle because I want you to not die and I can't give you barrier. There's no barrier to take off of these guys. So, yeah. Uh, and the ballista. Just to soften them up for the boss, assuming they get to me. I have to assume they'll get to me, even if I'm trying my best to prevent that very outcome. Look at that. Um, unfortunately, it just doesn't increase, it's just the amount of time. And they're not going to last eight turns, uh, if we're being honest. Bonk. I'm surprised that... Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't take more damage, I and mean, I guess he isn't, doesn't have any armor, and in fact has minus armor. But, uh, all the same. Boom, boom, boom. Well, I guess it's better he used it now than later. I I honestly wonder like, why I keep these guys. If I had, like, two aggressive teams, this would be easier, right? But to be fair, they do a decent amount of damage with that move and demoralize them to hopefully make them take more damage later. Because my eventual plan for this team, when I've got all my tanks, I think, I think my eventual plan is basically that they, uh, they just try and overwhelm them quickly. Before their barrier runs out. Should be able to get him enough barrier to do his poisoning thing. Assuming I want to. Oh, what do you know? He actually survived that. I'm surprised. Ooh, could hit him twice. Which is kind of tempting. Or really set them... I'm going to really set the demoralize in. Like, now there's a significant chance these guys could run off. I'm always tempted by that double in the back, especially when their armor is weak. This one could have possibly been gone right now. But no. Maybe I should be using this sampling thing more, just because barrier is kind of a thing. Because that, that applies poison 3, which is nice, but that entire move is about as strong as that guy's move. So if I can do something to get him enough barrier points to give him his move, then... Well... So now he has 78 barrier. Even when he's been, even when he's been smacked. Even smacked, he can still do the thing. Oh, I should probably use his bounty thing, because we're actually going to take people out here. Uh, hey, pal. We can't really demoralize the guy in the front, so we'll just have to kill them the old-fashioned way. See, this doesn't work too bad. You soften them up. Um, so that they... Well, sorry, you soften their attacks. Bonk. Oh. I mean, I'd love this guy to get to get that motivation. Because um, that would 
completely fix his motivation problems. Although, does he get credit? Well, he won't be credited with the toxicity damage. It could come from either of them, of course. Right. One more down. He's really unhappy. Worried. <laughs> I like the. He's facing like a tank and th two other monsters. Both of his friends have run off screaming. And he's a little worried. Well, let's just go for the extra damage at this point, I guess. Bye bye. Oh, well, what do you know? It'd be kind of funny to defeat him with the move that gets the bounty. Anyway. A trap. I don't want this. I don't think I have an opportunity to sell my traps, but I can rent them out. Okay, let me see. Trainer is what I really want. Specifically for my tanks. Um, so just a moment while I visit the trainer. Right, you, I can finally upgrade you. Health is higher, attack is higher. Uh, yeah, just a bit more damage. Oh, it reduces how much barrier he needs. That's nice. I like that. Uh, I'm actually a little bit tempted. Because I don't want this one. It was a, it was decent, but you know what? Fine, I'll do it. It's a decent one to have, but yeah, yeah. Just uh, take my life. Right. Uh, I guess my better judgment. I'm going to use all of these guys, and I might even go for a high risk, high reward kind of, kind of thing. An artifact, good. A monster. Mm. You're apparently the hardest one? Wait, I don't have a disaster for this one for some reason? It's the hardest difficulty of them, but I think we can do. And it gives me an artifact, which is always nice. Phew, times like this I'm almost glad that no one watches my videos. Otherwise I'd have comments saying, He only just realized he can see what rewards he's going to get when he fights. A group of enemies? Talk about unobservant. And they'd be right. Um, but the star. Because why not? Okay, damage, broken armor. Yeah, this kind of strategy again, huh? Okay. Bombards everyone while he smacks the front. Not exactly what I want to see. Uh, how are your nature resistances? Well, hmm. Your armor is sufficient that this guy is basically useless. We'll put you in there. Throw you guys in here. Oh, fat! that guy needs a holiday. I just saw the guy who, uh... Who throws the wrench needs a break, or else he's going down. So, physical defense. You got a lot of physical defense. In theory, you could tank at the front, but you're doing nature and ice all over the place, and he's not good against either of those. Honestly, he's not good against anything except armor. I definitely want you at the back. Um, honestly, you resist like two of their things, so I kind of want you at the front. You've also got the most health, and this guy is a bit better for just doing damage, I'd say. Ha! Ha, indeed. Uh, oh. That's unfortunate. I do love that they just come in with all these bonuses, though. That's so great. That did barely anything. Oh. Hmm. Not feeling very positive about my chances right now. These were the hardest ones, of course, now that I think about it. So, there's that.
Well, they're demoralised, which should hopefully soften them up. Poison of it too. Do all sorts of nasty things to them. This guy just does not take damage. So lots of health. That's actually the point, isn't it? He's got like double the health of the others, almost. Well, at least you've used up your heal. Just in time to be zapped. 111. That's going to give some sweet barrier to the rest of the team. In fact, we'll finally be able to see what happens if this lot actually have all of their barrier thing going on. I'm so curious about it that I'm going to just do this and get them even more barrier points. Go, barrier, go. Well, that's actually less than I thought it would be. Not that I did the math. Oh, good grief. Oh, I was kind of hoping it would count, like... Oh, it did count! It did count! <laughs> uh, that's fine. Ah, see, this guy just cannot accrue barrier. He should hopefully gather some from the others. Yeah, he did, but not enough. Even when I try hard, I just can't get enough barrier on it. In theory, that should have been him getting from this, and then gathering from them. Look at this! I sell with so much barrier, and set them up to get even more barrier, and they're just not getting barrier. It's being stripped away from them faster than I can put it up. I'm doing some decent-ish damage. This guy does defend himself reasonably well. I like these two together. It's just not enough, though. The problem is that they're hitting all of them. So, like, there's no ability to stack anything up. These guys at the back, they can't stack it up to use their abilities because there's just no opportunity. This guy's barrier went down pretty fast, too. He's not really benefiting from this, the self-protection. I thought he'd be benefiting more, though. Isn't he supposed to get barrier from both self-protection and that? Or do the two effects, like, not stack? Uh, broken armor, but what's the point? You're... Well, the other's hitting on armor. None, none, none of these guys can actually, like, target him. I guess I'll possibly sacrifice this guy just to get barrier on the other two. So that they can live. Oh, look, we can actually finally apply napalm because the others aren't bombarding the back line. That's fun. That's a shame. I mean, I like the idea of this. It's just not good enough. Hit twice? Wait, what? If a monster of the group has at least 50 barrier points. Oh, so the tank tanking is good enough for you to keep going? I didn't realize that. The tank keeps on tanking! I really like these ones together. Yeah, every time he attacks, well, he gets to attack twice, so he can potentially apply 10 barrier points on everyone who's there. Handy. Ah, uh, applies terrified to all tiers when a demon is defeated. Don't really use those. Tempting? I'll get this just because it might be beneficial. There's no guarantee it will, but they could be beneficial, so there. Um, right. You need a holiday, you need a holiday. These guys just cannot stay motivated, can they? Nope. At least we have... spares. I'd love a chance to train them more, like this. But how much can I really train them? Okay, what do you do? It boosts that and a bit of their stats. Not enough. Not you. Interesting. Gains power equivalent 
to 100% of the barrier points. Okay, okay. What was the thing is, because I use um, his, his ally thing first, he sort of doesn't get the chance to attack with that full oomph. Oh, is he fully level now? Level 5? Anyway, interesting to me. Give me money. Okay, thank you. Bye. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh, but I can't I can't spend all my money on them because I need to prepare for the the inevitable thighs. I just have to leave it at that because the inevitable thighs. Yep, there we go. Ooh. Well, we're about to I was I was considering ending the episode soon, but I was like, ah. We'll fight the champion. Win or lose. Win or lose. Let's go for it. I just... Somehow I knew it was going to be this guy. Just as soon as I upgraded my Bernie thing. Okay, just... F 72 fire at the back. Fire everywhere. And physical at the front. Let me see. Hard to demoralize this lot. And you apply burn to things that attack you, and you gain life if you hit things with a burn. So basically, you're bad for everything involved. Fire at the back. You resist fire a little. You have armor a little. Oh dear. Um, yeah, this is going to be hard. Morale is good. This is probably a good thing my morale folk aren't here, because... I wouldn't be able to use them effectively. What's your armor like? Not good, so we can at least get some good barrier off that thing. Um, right. Lots of fire at the back, so my fire resistor has to go there. I'm going to flank you in the middle to protect you. And I guess the tank will have to tank. And then we'll use the ballista so that we can hopefully... Ugh, I, hope, I hope we don't have to... Use, use my boss, but I have a nasty feeling we will. Okay, what's our first move? Slow them down? Tempting? Uh, easy target for two turns. They're not going to hit a trap that soon. Just damage and frostbite? I think just damage and frostbite. Of course. I always forget about that guy. Which is one of the reasons I hate him so much. But it's almost like... I should bring them in the last place that'd be good to put them, obviously. Because um, that'd be the best way to do something decent. Oh, you're a pain. Shame you don't have any barrier. I should have used his barrier ability. Because he didn't even do much damage to that guy. It's too late now, probably. But definitely. These two are going to kill him so dead. Even with seven shell. Why does it keep stacking shell? It's like shell specifically. Oh well. I mean, for the first team having no trap support, they haven't done too bad for damage. They could have done worse, I guess is what I'm saying. This guy's going to be a pain. Yeah. I guess I'm going to focus on shield again, because I really do need this team to last a bit longer. Right. So we have 14 barrier points from this. And then this thing should hopefully get them a fair bit of barrier, because his armor isn't great. Not that much, but it'll, it's something. Now, tank is tanking, which also means it's going to be pretty hard to get my armor up. Ah, but you get to go first. So you can sap all of them! And stack infinite burn on yourself. At least the guy at the back is absorbing this guy's fire attacks. And hey, if he never ends up catching fire. Right. Shield is going fine. Now we just need to napalm them. With 
Yeah, I mean, you'd think Napalm... It says fire damage, but it definitely isn't doing fire damage. It's applying poison, which is like, okay, you'd expect a poison attack to apply poison. Yeah, I don't know. This does, like, of maximum health, maximum life, and his maximum life isn't that high, so... This could work out okay. I almost don't want to attack with this guy, because then he'll start regaining health again. I feel like I kind of have to. I love that this thing's still actually got enough armor. That's fun. Bonk. So, does this count the barrier? It shouldn't do. Oh man, they really scrapped his armor. That's unfortunate. Yeah, see, he's gaining health again. Not good. I'm not even sure if we're doing enough damage to overcome his health regen. Although we might, once this guy gets armor. Because, I mean, he's barely hitting that guy much. We could also go for morale. Uh, eventually. If we want to get rid of this guy. And we just can't out-health him. So that's doing no damage. The poison should keep stacking. Assuming he can keep his armor up. Which he should be able to once this guy's gone. Of course, he could start going for penetrating shot now, um, because that guy's not on great armor in the first place, and he'd be breaking his armor. That would probably make more sense. Alright, let's overheat again, make sure that our armor keeps going up as best we can. In theory, this thing's armor should just start rising, they're all gaining it. I think. Alright. Penetrating shot should... oh, that's beautiful. Oh yeah, why was I worried? That's much more like it. This team's worked pretty well. They managed to actually tank through, ironically, uh, all the damage being thrown at them. Maybe having this one in front is the best call. I mean, it looks like it's intended to be, of course. It's a tank with a big shield thing on the front. Um, but it's like, with these two at the back, both gaining armor most of the time, there's a lot of potential for them to just provide shielding for him. Hello? What's this? Ah, uh, demons again. Do I want the artifact? Because I can... There's a chance something will ask me to sell it. But one of these I can definitely sell when the black market comes around, right? What? Which is better? I don't know. Good work. We like to off Yes, yes, I know. I get promoted for doing a good job. Ooh. Tesla cannon. Wait, are these the same ones? Defensive turret, Tesla cannon. Grenadier. Yeah. This is the one I wanted most because it is splash. Uh, I, I I had a long conversation about why I wanted that one. But the last time we did it. And my reasoning hasn't changed. Uh Drink some, drink some blood. Uh, I need to hold on to my money. But I also need to end this episode. Because it's gone on too long. Anyway. Um, yeah, that went okay. This uh, this new back team actually trying to break the uh, the barrier a little bit. That's uh, that that's good. Because like, all three of them generate barrier, effectively. The, the tank creates barrier by uh, like duplicating it off of the others. Um, the little drone thing. You know, creates barrier by attacking, and then creates more barrier if the barrier is high. And then the other one just puts its barrier generating buff on everyone. So it's just like, in theory, if I could improve all of them, could they reach the point where they actually gain more barrier and the enemies do attack? Maybe, but the thing with this game, the, the, the heroes have always had a lot more attack than like you could deal with. Because you're meant to have to thread them through this whole dungeon. You're not really meant, I, I guess, to be able to just put them up against a group of three monsters and have your monsters be as strong as them. They have to be stronger than the monsters. Um, it's kind of the point of the game, the point of adventure games, I guess. Any, anyway, uh, I could ramble on. The video's gone on too long, most likely, anyway. So, this was Silvertail. Be sure to come back if you like what you see. Remember to always plan a plan D. 
is here there be dragons. 